Alright, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying your weekend. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, I wanted to go over the Ada Lite Cardano wallet and being able to stake using a Ledger or a Trezor hardware device. So if you are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. To get things started, if you all do find some value from this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. It definitely does help out the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to keep you guys up to date with everything happening with the Cardano project. You definitely want to stay up to date. Make sure you hit that notification bell also so you know exactly when I post a new video. And if you do have any questions or comments about anything that we're talking about today, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. As far as what we're looking at here, this is the Ada Lite Cardano wallet. This is a light wallet developed by Vacuum Labs to be able to use uh, Cardano with a Ledger or a Trezor hardware device. You do also have the option of creating a mnemonic phrase, so a 15 word recovery phrase. But for this video, I wanted to go over how to go about staking using a Ledger or a Trezor hardware device. So to get things started, we're taking a look at the main page. This is adalite.io. I'll go ahead and leave a link for you guys down in the description. If you haven't checked out Adalite, I would definitely recommend it. It's a really clean user interface. And I think for people who are looking for a seamless way to get started with staking, uh, this is a very user-friendly option. So definitely check that out if you haven't done so already. As we can see here, we've got a few options as far as being able to access a Cardano wallet. If you have a mnemonic phrase, uh, you are able to create one if you don't already have one. You can connect your Ledger or Trezor hardware device, which is what we'll be doing in this video here today. Or you can use an encrypted JSON file that stores your keys. So any of these three options, you will be able to access the Ada Lite Cardano wallet. As far as what we're doing today, let's go ahead and click on this option here in the middle. That'll bring us to this page where we can see some information regarding our wallet that we have connected. As far as what I have currently, I'm using a Ledger Nano X. I did have to go ahead and use the Ledger Live application to update the Cardano application. If you haven't done so already, I would recommend that as well before you do this. It's just an extra step so that you have the most up-to-date Ledger application on your device. After you've done that, you'll be able to see your available balance. Here we can see the staking balance. There's a non-staking balance and a rewards account balance. So I'm gonna be talking about all of these here and what it all means as far as the staking balance. Essentially, that's the amount of ADA that you have available to be able to stake to a stake pool. Uh, the non-staking balance here, this is gonna be exactly what it sounds like. You're not able to stake this, but it's very easy to convert that to a stakeable amount. We can actually click on convert. This is gonna prepare a transaction. So now the minimum amount of ADA we have to have is one ADA. That's currently what I have here. So I've got a minimum amount of one ADA. It's not enough to be able to pay for the transaction fees to convert it. But if you do have any amount of ADA here in the non-staking balance, simply click on convert to stakeable. And next is gonna be rewards account balance. So whatever type of income as far as rewards that we will earn for having delegated our ADA to a pool, that will show up here in our rewards account balance. And we can click on redeem, which will end up being put back into our staking balance. So really clean, I like the user interface. I've got a small amount of ADA here for the sake of this video, just for demonstration purposes. Let's go ahead and talk about how to go about choosing a stake pool. So there's a couple websites I like to look at when it comes to looking at the different metrics regarding uh, stake pools and whatever types of fees they're charging, whatever types of amount that they have delegated already to their stake pool. All of these different things are certain parameters that you definitely wanna pay attention to. What we're gonna be talking about in this video here today is pooltool.io. So I've got pooltool pulled up here. This is going to be brought to you by Stake Love. ticker is love. Big thank you, you do a great job by offering this service to the community, so huge thank you to Stake Love for bringing us this website. 
on the search bar here, I've got the KAI typed in. You can just type in Kaizen if you were to delegate to Kaizen. You can delegate to any stake pool that you'd like to. So in this instance, let's search for Digi. That's uh, Rick from Digital Fortress. On the left-hand side, we can see the ticker of the stake pool. We've got this green little check mark here, which is a verified ITN ticker pool. So in this instance, Rick was operating on the incentivized testnet. He's verified his ticker. We did have a bit of an instance with ticker spoofing. So it's nice that Pool Tool has implemented this to verify that the uh, ticker is actually genuine and then we can see the pool name when you click on it It'll actually redirect you to a website if they have a website associated with their stake pool This is going to be the pool ID. We're going to be talking about that more in this video That way you'll be able to see how to go about delegating to a pool using the Adalite wallet We've got the fixed fee. We've got the variable fee in this instance, Rick is charging 340 and a 3% variable fee. That's going to be the same fee structure as Kaizen. He's got a nice pool pledge here for both of his stake pools, 515k ADA. Live stake here as well. Really nice. Rick is going to start minting blocks right out of the gate. Awesome. So those are some of the things to look at as far as choosing a stake pool using Pool Tool and the Adalite wallet. So you want to pay attention namely for having a low fee and a high performance, making sure that the stake pool is operational and it's helping the network by maintaining its uptime. So that's what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and see if we want to delegate to Kaizen stake pool. So right now Kaizen stake pool is not currently showing up on Daedalus. You know, that's what it is with the early days of software. So if you guys are able to remain patient with us, for those of you who are going to be delegating to Kaizen Crypto, really do appreciate your patience. Thanks for hanging in there with us. We are able to delegate to Kaizen Crypto using the Ada Light wallet. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pool ID. So as far as how Pool Tool has this structured, we can actually just click on this copy to clipboard option. This is going to copy our pool ID so that when we go back over to our Ada Light wallet, all we have to do, we can go here in the search bar and we can just go ahead and paste that stake pool ID. This is going to show us the name of our stake pool, Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. You can see the ticker is Kaizen. It'll show you the tax and the fixed cost. And at the bottom, we've got a link to our website. So if you did want to find out more information, you can click down there as well. Now, the fee to be able to delegate your ADA, so they charge 2.95021 ADA to be able to delegate your Cardano. So now this is a one-time fee. You don't have to worry about any other fees related to staking as far as being able to actually delegate. So this is just a transaction fee. The only other fees that would come after that would be related to the rewards after the pool starts minting blocks. So I just want to clarify that. As far as being able to delegate, you can just click on delegate down at the bottom. It'll give you a confirmation here. We can see the pool ID, pool name, everything looks correct. And once we have verified that the information for the transaction is correct, we can click on confirm transaction. And this is going to verify the transaction on our ledger device. And after that, it's going to submit the transaction to the network. So here in this instance, it's going to ask me to press down both buttons to confirm. So I've done that. It's going to ask us to verify the transaction fee. And we can see that the transaction has been submitted. So now it's connecting with our wallet and we should see a confirmation. Awesome. All right. And we can see the transaction successful. Perfect. So as far as the balance we have remaining in our wallet, we did see that two ADA being charged as our fee. So the remaining balance we have is this right here, and this is going to be staked to Kaizen stake pool. We can see our current delegation down here at the bottom. It shows the pool information, and that's pretty much it. So as far as being able to stake your Cardano using the ADA Lite wallet, it's a very easy process. It's very straightforward. I will be doing more videos in the future talking more about Ada Lite. I think they have a great user interface and it's, uh, it's really amazing to be able to connect a hardware device. So be sure to stay tuned for future videos. We are anticipating Ledger support for the Daedalus wallet as well coming very soon. So if you're interested in cold staking using the Daedalus wallet, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you get notified when I post that video. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.